That looks interesting. Are you going to eat it? Sure. I've had it before and it tastes pretty good. So you have a taste for a wide variety of foods? Well, yes, actually I do. And in fact, that's what we're going to learn about in this episode. Taste, the appeal of aroma, and the tactile sensation of touch. So this is like a lab. Mm-hmm. So what are you doing? Homework. are a smorgasbord of experience, mostly interpreted through our senses. The ability to smell, taste, and ah, touch all play an important role in how we understand our environment. In this program, you'll learn how we interpret our surroundings through sensory receptors in the nose, mouth, and skin. You'll see how we experience different chemical and tactile sensations through specialized receptor cells and how the brain interprets these stimuli and generates responses. We want you to really inhale this program so that you get a good taste for the subject and really put a bite into understanding tactile and chemoreceptors. Our sensations and the perceptions they evoke in our minds begin with stimulation of sensory receptors. These structures transmit information about changes in our external and internal environments. The receptors are specialized neurons which respond to specific stimuli. They occur singly, as in the skin, or in groups, as in sensory organs, such as the ears and the eyes. When receptor cells are activated, they produce electrochemical impulses, called action potentials. These potentials travel along the sensory neural pathways of the peripheral and central nervous systems to the brain, where they form our perception of the environment. What we perceive depends on the part of the brain receiving the impulse. The brain determines the nature of the response that is generated. There are different types of sensory receptors that respond to specific kinds of stimuli. Our sense of touch, for example, is conveyed through nerve cells called mechanoreceptors. These are stimulated by the pressure or the physical distortion we experience in touching or handling objects and stretching our muscles, or even in hearing sounds. On the other hand, chemoreceptors are stimulated by different concentrations of chemical substances to which we are exposed. In our external environment, these molecular concentrations are sensed by taste and smell. However, within our bodies, chemoreceptors can also detect the presence and concentration of molecules such as carbon dioxide and oxygen in the blood. Thermoreceptors respond to heat or cold. They help regulate body temperature. Internal thermoreceptors in the hypothalamus sense the amount of heat and initiate primary temperature control. We have different thermoreceptors in our skin to detect heat changes in the external environment. Another category of sensory reception is pain. Free nerve endings function as pain receptors. They are called nociceptors. Different groups of nociceptors respond to excess heat, pressure, or specific chemicals released from damaged or inflamed tissue. There are a variety of treatments for the common aches and pains that we all suffer. ASA is a pain relieving compound that is part of analgesic medicines. It reduces pain by inhibiting the production of naturally occurring fatty acid derivatives called prostaglandins. Prostaglandins act on the pain receptors by lowering their threshold to stimuli thereby increasing the pain we feel. <laughs> 